Well, welcome everybody. We're going to start a bunch of galactic duels today. We're going to see what we're up against. <clears throat> All right. We want to take out Orphi because he does a bit too much damage. I can expect one of those teams. He has some control. But I actually have to get a victory with my Frost team. Although... <clears throat> I could try something else as well. Um, so what we're going to do is... I'm going to go for an Endurance team. <clears throat> and extend the battle. See if that's a possibility. He has a bunch of silences. He went for some control anyway. I met this guy before. It's one of the YGGs. I think it's YGG Zephyr. See if we can get some stacks up on uh, Shun. <clears throat> so with the freeze team, you basically want to endure as long as possible until you control all members. Once you have that going, um, That's pretty good to start. He has a double turn, so he will still be able to uh, control us. Now we're going to hit targets with a heal, for the simple reason that it will get our mute to evolve a bit quicker. As you see, he's already in his cocoon. Now there's two things I can do. I can take him out of his cocoon and start damaging immediately. We'll start off by hiding Doko. I still want to have uh, the endurance, so I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna see to hit him again. With a bit of luck, he's gonna control our camas. <coughs> yeah, no, he controlled yoga. So it's gonna be a bit pesky in a bit, but. At least we get to throw off Hades. Mm. I'm going like this. I'm sorry if I'm playing a bit slow and trying to control some aspects of the game. I'd have to control the silence for sure. Does not have any energy anymore. Oh, that's going to evolve. Let's see who has at least magic resistance so we can heal up the most possible but we're still gonna hit him for the simple reason 
if we manage to kill him. Yep. And we basically won the game. GG. Yeah, we'll still try something, but. We're gonna control the slow again. Not a silence, I mean. He's gonna go for a double turn. But I'm gonna launch the dragons. I'm gonna see who has some defenses. Is it him? No. But I do want to get rid of him in some other way. Maybe if I just. Uh, So it was actually Shunex. And our mark is to get 55 um, stars legendary. Comme vous voyez, on est sur le serveur E11. Sixième place. Et on essaye de rattraper, au moins finir top 5 euh, cette saison. Ça, c'est le but. Entre serveur, on est sur la 19e place. Environ 25 minutes à jouer. We have about 25 minutes left to play. So we're going to see what we get out of it. So basically for high skill uh, or high level PvP, a very important thing is to have three different types uh, of teams. You have to rotate between those three teams. See as the enemy can see your last two teams, which you had uh, the victory with, you want to at least have one ace up your sleeve. Du Papillon seems to be one of his linchpins. Should be able to beat him. Let's see. What do we not want to meet? I'd say either Poseidon. Although you don't ban him often, we'll just ban his Mew. Just had a victory with that one, then the last one. Now it's normally time to try get a victory with our FTK team. First turn kill. It does not always work, but we'll see. So far, it seems to, you know, to work out. He's going for a speedy team as well. I'm going to try to get this. Phoenix slowed down on top of some other people. And then we want to slow her down as well. We're gonna check who has the dragon teeth so we do not by accident trap somebody. I could have gone for Poseidon as well. <clears throat> he might be a problem. We're going to see if everything goes right. Most probably he's going to tank it. I think we already released the damage to kill him, so... Yeah, oh, we did. 
gonna slow her down again. Hope our Athena resurrects. That way at least we have a bit of a chance. Slow him down, yep. And it's done, it's over. We won. He's gonna keep firing at her and basically do no damage at all. And we're just gonna blast him with the overflow damage. And that's a GG. We had our Frost team, now our um, FTK team that won. <clears throat> so now we have to put up our random team. It usually consists out of June. But we'll see uh, who pops up. You will notice that I'm playing without sound. I usually do this uh, with most games. At least here is for some streaming purposes. But usually I just play with no sound. You know, it helps you focus a bit more. And most of the times, yeah, if you're playing with friends, you're actually on a voice con. The game sounds can be pretty interrupting. So as you will see, we'll always rotate between three different teams. I want to get Orfe out of there. And then he will go for a full control team. So let's try it. We might lose against the setup if he goes full control. Except if we go with the Frost team. Which might be an option as well. But we should actually not do it because uh, he could have the ace up his sleeve. Mm. Risk it, don't risk it. Let's see. Well, that's nice. That's a nice bug. <laughs> but does Doko in there? Let's see. Is he going to control one of our characters at the start? Oh, and he played a Frost team. I should have went Frost anyway. <clears throat> but as we are a low expenditure team, it's not that bad for us. Basically. I'm going to try to reduce the overall damage by putting the cross on our Mew. See, if Mew receives damage, actually, the line of June uh, that you see mitigates that damage. First of all, it reduces it by 14% for everybody. And second of all, the damage gets... Uh, let me see, normally, yeah. We want to make sure that he cannot freeze. Target, uh, which can receive heals to make him evolve a bit quicker. If he's smart, he's gonna freeze our uh, June. If he's not, He's going to try to take care of our double turn. Mm. We might evolve this turn. 
I'm just gonna throw out the dragons to try to kill the... Oh, oh, that's not gonna work. Even in cocoon form. I have a little valve out of it anyway. On the next double turn, he'll do a lot of damage. I am. He's gonna block uh, one of his characters. Hmm. Now I have to take out. Oh, he's gonna freeze my character. She have dragon teeth, let's hope so. Yep, she does. I'm gonna launch it at her. Oh my god. Come on. Ah, shit. Oh. Well. Barely, uh, maybe with a bit of luck, we might be able to do it. I think we will. I think we might win with this uh, last move. Dragons should have done a lot more damage on their characters. There we go. He still, well, he still has some damage and some control, but. Uh, oh, Shenex, again. Moved up to the fifth place, but we want to retain that spot since uh, the other guy uh, is probably going to try to catch up to us anyway. So we just used our random team. We used our FTK team, so now we can use our freeze team again. We probably will. If you're playing with Doko, you actually want to inspect the enemy team a lot more for uh, Dragon Teeth. Seems like the same type of setup. For once, we're gonna ban this little guy. I'm gonna see no mule. So we can basically go for well, this and. Or Shun Hades. I think we're gonna go for that. Although we risk he will use uh his other character. Hmm. 
and we might like some damage in this setup. I'll go for this instead. That way he's forced to attack my Milo. And we'll see if we can force him to... Uh... Okay. Yeah. Alright. He has two strong controls. And one of his uh, controls is basically gonna... Take my Camus and make sure that we cannot freeze. So this is most probably a loss. Except if we can take him out quick enough. He does have Marsh Fairy, but no Dragon Teeth. Um, still going to go for this. And our Milo is going to throw out a control. able to control his uh, or kill his Milo I might still be able to let's see it's not the biggest danger but Does he have dragon teeth? Yeah. 